What's up guys and welcome back to Mr. Survival. I've spent my first night out in the strange lands. I have no idea where I am. I've uh, ended up uh, with a uh, spaceship accident. No, no. It was a, a portaling accident where I ended up here. My, I, my portal uh, despawned after I, after I traveled far, far away. And now I'm literally stuck out in the middle of nowhere, like with uh, far away from home. Uh, but I don't mind it. It'll give me a, a good like quest is to one day find home. I have no idea how I'm gonna do it at this moment. Um, I don't even know can, if I use a compass. Will that point me to my original spawn or will that point me to my current bed? I think it should point me to my original spawn, right? So that'd be kind of easy if I use a compass. But uh, on the other hand, it, it still is really far away. It's gonna be a long, long journey. So. And I have other stuff to do. I have to find a witch, I have to find a desert pyramid, and I have to find a jungle uh, temple. So, those are the things I've come up with so far. I am recording this episode immediately after the previous one, so if you've made any awesome suggestions, I haven't read them yet because I haven't uploaded the previous video yet. So don't worry. I will read your suggestions, I promise. When the time when uh, when they when you make them. All right, kill the chickens. Oh yeah, level up. I'm gonna level up quite fast uh, because they changed everything. Now you get um, XP from mining ores and stuff, which is pretty nuts. All right, here we go. I'm gonna go and check what this is. It's a dead end cave. It's fine. Let's uh, have a look around. I can hear running water. And I can hear skeletons. There we go. I don't know. You probably can't see anything, but I have my brightness turned way up. Should be able to see. What is that little red thingy? Is there lava nearby too? Oh yeah. S shit just lit up. Smells like lava to me. Hey. It's freaking lava land out here, man. Alright, well... It is a bit unsafe. There's a little lava source there. What I'm going to do is just build a little wall around it, like so. And let's get some of this other cobble out of the way, or just stone. I do want to be able to find my way back later on. And the way back is up here. No problem, no problem. So, and this was a dead end, I remember now. It's probably got to go through here. Iron! Iron, iron, iron. It's another one of those words that's like, how the hell are you supposed to pronounce that? Like, c kernel? Cur not, a, not a thing that's popcorn, but a thingy that um, is in the army. A army duty, dude. A cur kernel? Cur co a colonel is how you spell it. But that's not how any people say it. They say kernel. Oh, and there are going to be little bats and things in here, too. Oh, oh, crap. Skeletons. 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 Uh-oh. Skeletons, as you may remember from earlier, uh, have been made tougher to deal with, so we won't deal with them now. Uh, I will need to probably make a bow and stuff to kill those. Whoa! So we actually got some pretty awesome caves around here. I am quite pleased. I, uh, more caves than I can deal with at the moment. Alright, uh, villagers. Villagers, to make more villagers... I think they're always going to keep their same trading things, and if I ever want to get some rubies, I will need to, you know, get villagers to m multiply, to to be... Can I click the arrows? No, no, there's nothing there. Alright, well, at least they're growing food for me. That is a positive thing. And I have my food being cooked here. Oh, yeah, look at the levels. I should make a, a crafting table in here as well. Just... Uh, for good measure. Come on, put it put it on the right spot. And then a chest. So I can hide my junk in here. The junk that I've recently just acquired. So, some iron. I think I will not cook it yet. Leather, I will right away make myself something out of leather. There we go. A leather jacket and a leather pants. Like a true biker. I'm going to wear these things right now. Oh yeah, decked out, man. Totally, totally. Steak. I will not keep all the steaks on me. Let's see. Uh, I'll keep like three steaks on me. 
put all the other things away. Um, I do want to... Yeah, I'm going to need a lot more wood because I have... I've used all it up and I, I need I need some more wood for sticks and things. So I should actually grab that one sapling that I have here and plant some plant some wood. Don't worry about that. The door's gonna be stayed open for a while now because these doors don't have these pressure plate buttons that close them automatically. And I think this door might even be backwards. Maybe that's an anti zombie mechanism. Don't know. Alright, let's take a peek in this house again. There's literally nothing except for a pressure plate on the pole, which is something actually, which is something, and more food out here. All right, well, what I need to do, uh, maybe that's an interesting thing to do now, is build a couple more houses so that these villagers will spawn in. Uh, they will they will come and join me and be one big happy family. So, I'm just going to take a look around the area first. Like, what is this dark spot? Alright. Sand that is not fallen yet. It will collapse soon. There's a bit more charcoal there, or coal, for when I need it. Let's go take a look at the sand mountains. Those are pretty cool, too. Sand mountains. And maybe we can climb to the top and get a view of the area around here. Let's see. Top of Sand Mountain. We should name this mountain, too. And, um... Gonna let you guys come up with something if you want. Sand, a name for Sand Mountain. Up until then, it's when it should be called Sand Mountain. Unless you want it to be called Sand Mountain, and that makes it really easy. That means we've already found the name, we've done that, been there, done that. So far, the desert is good size, but I don't see any pyramids yet. I don't know, do you? I do have view distance to be decently far. But I don't see pyramids. Nope. No, no, no. The corner. Is that another village? In I'm looking at with the corners because the corners can see a little bit further than uh, the center almost. It feels like it zooms it in more because of my FOV. Right. The desert does stretch out a bit further. Let's see if I can get down without hurting myself. Yeah, yeah, it seems to be alright. It's a bit hard to see the sand where it ends and everything, but. No problem. We got it. We got it, man. We got this. All right. And on the way back, we'll um, try and gather some trees from around here. All right. I'm having this coal here because when I do get those trees, I'm gonna want to make some torches. That's one thing I, I still don't have and really will need. All right. We'll leave that hole there. Ouch. Ouch. My legs. Me legs. So, yeah. I'm just looking at the view. I'm, uh, I'll am i tell you something, man. I'll tell you the, the honest to God truth. I'm a lot more happier with this chunk or this bit of the world that I'm in than I was the last time. The last time we did a restart, it was kind of a meh area. So, I'm a lot more happier here. Kind of glad this uh, this happened. Totally. Uh, the last time what I had to do, my, my original plan with where I would actually have a way back. I'd know the way back secretly. But this time, it's for reals, bro. I'm lost. And I won't know the way back. I don't know the way back. I'm not even sure if I'll be able to find my way back, even with a compass. So, that is a cool thing. A, a true challenge. A true non-fake. Um, non-fake? It's just a real challenge then, I guess. And it is getting dark. So, I'm going to do a quick jog in this direction. See what's up? Oh, wow. A surface dungeon. Sweet. All right, we'll have to check this out later on. Quickly go this way a little bit and see what's up. And... Nothing yet, nothing yet. It's getting dark. Oh, crap. It is going to get real dark. And I don't have trees yet. Okay, big mounds. No, no, no desert... No desert pyramids yet to speak of. Uh, um, we might have better luck traveling in different directions. We still haven't seen the end of the desert. There was a weird river in the desert too, though. But, yeah, no problem. Alright, let's go back home. And 
if I'm correct, I think th the only thing you need to make sandstone is just raw sand. You don't need to cook anything ever. So that will be quite easy if if uh, any if I can make the other villagers' homes out of sandstone that way. Let's go, go, go. I don't have time for damn uh, trees right now. I actually overstayed a bit. I hope I can make it back. There's going to be mobs spawning. Quickly, let's get back to bed. And get this puppy uh, thing. Look, there's another crafting table, which I forgot about. In a very short time, I forgot about that crafting table. All right, back home safe. And... Hey man, you gonna watch me sleep? A little spazzy spaz. Good night, Mr. Man. Right, that was cool. That was quick. Still haven't really done anything. Okay, I need to get a lot more wood. Because if I if I do want to make houses for these guys, they're gonna want doors and everything. Uh so let's go right here and get some of these trees. And there's clay there too, Whenever, if we ever need some of that clay. Remember guys, in, if you ever want to set challenges for me, in the, 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 the comment section is open for that kind of stuff. So far I only have uh, find a witch, kill it, and find a jungle temple, jungle temple and find a pyramid in the desert. Yeah, so far that's, and uh, find my way home. Uh, which is uh, far, far away. I have no idea which direction or anything. And I might be able to use a compass, but we're not sure. It would be uh, very cool if we couldn't use a compass. Anyway, first now though, what I wanted to do before as well is go and build a couple more village houses, villager houses, and hopefully then it'll spawn more villagers for me. I should take a couple dirt blocks with me so I can plant a couple trees around there too. That'd be very useful. Remind me to bring some saplings as well. Saplings for them trees. Right, come on. Give me some. Drop. Drop your saplings, man. There's one. How about this other tree I got earlier? This probably already dropped a bunch of saplings. Yeah, there are, there are a few. Don't get hurt. Alright. So, I've got like three saplings right now. I want to get one more tree. One more wood. One more wood. Come on, then. Let's take a peek inside this cave. Well, that's pretty cool. I like it when grass goes inside the caves. And there's another cave here. Sweet! Alright. And the reason why I am uh, going and trying to make some more houses for the villagers is that if there are more houses, in theory, uh, more villagers will move in magically. It's kind of like SimCity. You build houses and they will come. So, if I get more villagers, I'll have more trading options, and then uh, I can get some emeralds that way. Otherwise, I'd have to go look for emeralds, and that's going to be crazy difficult. Oh, wow, this is a, a neat area. Look at this. Come on, lighting up. Whoa! Sound like he was right behind me, man. That was crazy. All right, update lighting. Update lighting. All right, well, close enough. Look at this. It's a tunnel into a whole new world with eggs and chickens. This is crazy chicken-infested land here, by the way. Look at all these chickens. And there's a twin falls of fire and water. I've just named that for you guys. You don't have to, uh, unless you got something better. But I've got right now is a twin falls of fire and water. And you have to say it in that voice, too. The first time I was just kind of making sure you could spell it out, but the real name is Twin Falls of Fire and Water. And it's going to be spelled out in all caps too, I think. I think that will be appropriate. Alright, let's get this tree. I keep getting a bit sidetracked, but let's get this tree. Hope for that burning zombie doesn't come and touch me. If I uh, remember something correctly, I, I don't remember if it's going to be... If it's exactly in this version of Minecraft, or if they're going to put in the next one. But a burning zombie will set you on fire. Uh, that could be a fun short-term short goal that we could uh, try and accomplish. Just to see if that's true. Just go hug a burning zombie. Saplings. Saplings. Alright, let's, uh, let's take a bit more dirt. We've got, what, 12 dirt blocks? That's fine. We'll do alright. 
Okay, go. All right, let's head back and make some tools. And with these, oh, I'm starving to death again. My hunger. That's one thing. Playing all this Technic pack, you get this helmet from the Quantum suit of armor that automatically makes f you have like food always. And then I have my automatic cake machine and everything. Crazy, crazy crap. It's a bit, it's a bit cheating y but um, it kind of, it's kind of fun in its own way. To make it, uh, you get to have different challenges. All right, let's just. I guess I don't need to. Didn't need to bring any of that dirt. I can just plant my saplings around here. It's a nice. Ah, sorry, right, I got itchy nose. All right, and in we go. We've got some wood, so we can make some tools. I think we start off making a shovel to collect a bunch of sand, with which we can then make um, sandstone. So. All of the woods, let's make a couple of sticks and a shovel. What else do I need? I'll probably need an axe. And I will need, I think that's it for now. We'll keep, we'll keep this wood around for uh, different purposes. Like we'll need to make doors for these guys. Oh, and I can uh, make sand or glass later on. I'll do that later on. So, let's level out some of this sand. I kind of forgot actually that the uh, stone shovel is going to go down way faster than I have ever hoped. They go like crazy. What is this square thing anyway? Is that another one of those sunken dungeons or not? Nah, probably not. Probably not. Alright. Well, let's keep mining some of the sand. I'll try and keep talking crazy crap so I don't have to do some weird editing later on. So I never know how long the videos are. I'm roughly, what, this is the second day of this recording? Second day... Yeah, it should be, uh... Alright, it's about noon now. Look at this. Magic carpus, carpus, car cactus harvest, bam! Let's keep going. And we'll try and keep the village in the same style as the other houses. So, we'll need two variations of sandstone blocks and it looks like we'll need to make some sandstone stairs as well for the roof bits. We'll make it look like it was actually meant to be like this. And we can make a giant town. Oh, actually, let's just make one house extra for now and I'll move into it. We'll make a big a kind of biggish house. Biggish? That's even a word. We'll just make the like the mayor's house. I'm just going to come into this town and just like, ah, I claim this town in the name of Mr. Survival. I am, I am going to be Mayor Survival in this town. Are you Are you going in your house now because you're tired or, or what is up? What is up with you, man? Let's make another, like, two shovels. There we go. Shovel. Shovel. It's nice that the doors are closed behind them automatically. It'd be kind of nuts if they left them open all the time. All right, well, let's see, um, how does this work? Oh, yeah, sweet, man. Sandstone. So, you don't get a lot of sandstone out of sand. Um, and I kind of, let's see. How does, how does their floor look inside? Maybe want to make a floor with cobblestone. Yeah, just have sandstone floors right there. All right, let's, let's put cobblestone into the floor. So that means digging some more stuff up, I guess. So... Let's make like a, a a bit bigger than that house is right there. And we'll get more sand, which we'll need anyway. So it's not not a waste of time at all. We'll make the floor out of cobblestone. Oh no, we should make the floor out of wood. Although I don't have that much wood, which kind of sucks. We'll make the floor out of cobblestone first. We'll just keep building more houses, and as I build better ones, I'll just uh, move into them, I guess, the better houses. Will be that simple. All right. So this further back in this direction a little bit more, and here we go. I think that is a, a good size. I don't have enough cobblestone to fill this up. Well, let's just start start it up anyway. There we go. Wait, do I have? No. I'm actually quite close to filling it up, but just not enough. Although I do know a cave nearby where they've got some cobblestone. 
And this is not it, but they've got cobblestone in this watery bit. Along with a chicken who has laid several eggs. Alright, let's take this cobblestone. Maybe we'll bump into some other cool resources. And, no. Oof, come on, let's get out of this water. And out, okay. 16 cobblestone, that'll do for now. I only needed, what, about 6 or 7 pieces, or 8 pieces. There we go, so that's that. Uh, I do have more sand, so that's more sandstone, 48. Let's have a look. You know what, maybe I'll make it a bit bigger, the house, actually. Whoa, cactus. You're actually in a dangerous spot, so I'm going to get rid of you. Let's do this. There we go, that's a, a better size house. But it will require me to get a lot more cobblestone first. Or not cobblestone, sandstone. That's okay. There we go. That's going to be the size of my house right here. Let's, let's make a couple torches. I know I need them. Needs to light this crap up, man. Around here. Y'all. Keep it safe. Keep it cool. Keep it lit. And fall! I knew that was going to happen. Fall. You get you force a block update like that. And fall. Oh, wow. That idiot cactus was up there, too. And fall. Destroy. That's how that works. Lights. Let's put a, let's put a light up on here. Actually, no, that, that looks way odd. Where should we put a light? We can't put lights on the sides of these things. Just in the corners, I guess. This house. Yep, that works out fine. That's no problem at all. Alright, since it's nighttime, I'm going to go quickly sleep, and then we'll continue working on that house tomorrow.